I'm going to show you how to use the advanced miner in Industrial Craft 2 or IC2. So this is here, the advanced miner. Now, if we right click into it, what you're going to see is a few different things going on here. First, we can switch the mode from blacklist to whitelist. We're whitelisting or blacklisting the ores that we would like this advanced miner to mine up. Now, we can place it here. And what we then need to do is actually add a scanner into it so that it can scan the local area for ores to mine. Now, you have two different types. You have an OV scanner, which is the um, better version. And you can see here, you need some gold item casings, an energy crystal, advanced circuits, etc., and an OD scanner. So you will need to make the lesser version and upgrade it. The difference is OV has a range of 12. OD has a range of 6. So ideally, you would want to go for the upgraded version and get a lot more range or double the range on your scanner. And we're going to put that scanner into this top left slot here. Any ores that you would like to whitelist or blacklist, you can then put into this big area in the center here. And you will also need to attach a um, storage to actually output these ores into as well. We can click this button to turn on silk touch or not, um, false or true, very easy there. And you can actually restart the miner with this big yellow button here. And it will tell you the current coordinates that the miner is currently um, scanning at or mining at. In this right hand slots here, we could put some upgrades. Let's have a look then. So we could put overclocker upgrades so that it can basically just scan and mine even faster. Transformer upgrades mean that it will be able to take a higher tier of energy. And we can also put redstone signal inverter upgrades in if we wish as well. And that is pretty much it. You do all those things, you press restart, and it's going to start scanning the local coordinates with, it, with the scanner. And then it's just going to dig up any mines and eject them into the localized inventory. Um, you know, maybe a chest, etc. you could put on here. And you can see it's green here, which means it is working. And that is how you use the advanced miner in Industrial Craft 2. If you'd like to see more guides for this mod, check out the playlist you now see on screen. And do click that subscribe button, because if you check out my channel, you'll see that I am dedicated to actually providing you with guides for every single mod in Minecraft that I can. If you'd like to support the channel or get more one-on-one -on -one support, then do consider also joining my Patreon linked in the description below. However, if you just need a bit of extra help on maybe this mod or a different one, feel free to also join the Discord in the description below, where you can get some help in our Minecraft channels.